Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. Please consider clicking the subscribe button below. That way you'll be getting all the new content that I have coming out because we are full force ahead spring and, um, I'm sorry, fall and winter time. Uh, I do have a review for you today of a summer candle. I wanted to sneak that in here uh, real quick. And of course that is a Bath and Body Works candle of Waffle Cone. So uh, before we start, if you're looking for me to compare this to any previous version of Waffle Cone, I cannot, I do not have any experience with those um, those other versions of Waffle Cone. If it was just one, you know, it was a Berry Waffle Cone. Now it's just called Waffle Cone. So uh, I do not have any experience with the old ones. So let's get that out there right now. So this came out uh, right after SAS or during SAS, but it was not on sale. Uh, last weekend it went on sale. It was uh, ten dollar off all three wicks, so they were uh, twenty four fifty. I picked them up. They were fourteen fifty. I used my twenty percent off mail on coupon. Came down to eleven dollars and change. Not too bad. That's because I wanted to get this um, get this candle uh, and get it done, get it reviewed. So uh, what do we have here? So this is part of I guess Polaroid collection. I don't know, but this isn't really like the others um, as far as the labeling goes. This is a picture within a picture. Uh, it's a square on the front there. You've got your vanilla ice cream waffle cone in the back. And in the front you've got, which is presumably the beach, and that's a beach umbrella looking up at the sky. So nice white metal lids there. 14.5 uh, ounces, 25 to 45 hour burn time. Waffle cone is the name, not berry waffle cone, so it's just called, called waffle cone this year. However, the notes do allude to uh, sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. Uh, so before we get off and talk about the scent and everything, um, unfortunately on the first or second burn it was, um, it was starting to get really puny flames and I did have to, uh, cotton ball, cotton ball it. So if you're not familiar with cotton balling in the wax community, it's when you, uh, uh, blow the candle out, you know, extinguish it. And then you take a, a cotton ball with like a, you know, just put it on something and you dip it into the wax while it's still liquid. And what that does is it sucks up. The, it absorbs the liquid into the cotton ball, so it allows more room for the flame to grow. Um, so you get the, a, a taller flame there. If you have a lot of wax there in a short wick, you're going to get very short flame. So that's puny wick syndrome. That's, you know, um, signs of all of those guys there. So the yellow wax did not discolor on me. It was a very strong thrower. I'm very much enjoying the scent in the summertime here. Uh, I will keep burning this. Um, was, I've been burning a lot of fall candles lately. So having this um, there was very nice. So this candle um, basically reminds me of walking into an ice cream shop or if you have like a, a local homegrown ice cream shop that happens to make their own waffle cones or by me in the town called New Hope, there's this place called Nina's Waffle House. And what it is is basically they create their own uh, homemade waffles and then they put toppings on it, whether it be ice cream or whether it be, you know, uh, fruit or something like that. Um, that's what I get. So when you go in there, you get this atmosphere. You know, it's cold, right? The air conditioning's on. And then you've got this the smell of the, the vanilla ice cream with that home-baked, um, right out of the oven, right out of the skillet there, uh, waffle cone. I don't get much um, berry in this, if I get any berry. Uh, primarily, I get that waffle cone with the vanilla there. It's a nice warm scent. Yeah, it's, it's a very nice warm scent. It is room filling, don't get me wrong. It is a very, very strong thrower. Uh, like I said, the only issue I had with it was just the, the cotton balling of the wicks there. So uh, take that for what it is. Um, the batch code on this, by the way, is 8141G3A3. Uh, Retailing for $24.50. You can get them on sale for $12.95. Most of the time, I'm not sure how long this collection is going to be out in stores because I'm hearing that July 23rd um, is part one of the of the fall floor set at Bath and Body Works, at least in the White Barn stores. So um, not sure how long this will be around. I'll tuck it away till winter, um, winter SAS, you know, who knows. But a couple other standouts in this collection um, is a cherry snow cone I like, which is essentially just... Um, a cherry limeade scent. It's really nice. It's very fresh, very refreshing. It's not overly sweet, not overly like sour. It's a very nice, fresh, um, juicy cherry limeade there. Uh, pool party is not bad. Pool party, pool side. I think it's pool party. It's not bad, but uh, certainly waffle cone and um, 
the cherry uh, snow cone are the stands. Orange Dream Skull is nice, um, or orange, whatever they're calling it now, but it's nice. It's it's uh, a repackage uh, from last year, I believe. Once again, no experience with it, so... Um, but yeah, so that is my review of Waffle Cones. So guys, let me know what you think of this little collection. Um, and if you're ready to move on to fall like me, I am just ready to get this hot weather out of here. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, stay tuned. I will have more content coming your way, uh, especially fall and winter stuff. We're going to have some Christmas and July things going on um, from diff all different candle companies. So, all right, guys, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you around.